everyone this is ross in today's video we don't really have an objective i want to just give you guys a little walk around a little tour show you guys what everything looks like right now this is uh my bed of garlic that i planted um, not too long ago and you can see a lot of it starting to sprout if you look very closely and i want to specifically show you guys though like how beautiful everything is right now just the the really intense very pretty colors we were supposed to get rain all day and night and we had uh, lots of flood warnings and it wasn't looking too great for what I could even do outside today but it cleared up I don't know it stopped raining the Sun came out I still have a lot to do and I'm probably not going to do any of it, but I wanted to show you the nice, beautiful fall colors. And even like, you know, not just where I live, but across the street, uh, just the like incredible trees, oaks and maples, um, even some cherry trees here you're looking at. You know, it's just a beautiful time of the season. And here in Pennsylvania, we just have four very distinct seasons um, in the northeast part of the United States that's just what we get and I think a lot of people out there could complain about it and actually just want it to be 60 or 70 degrees every day and um, you know have that perfect Californian weather as an example but then there might be people in California that would say all right I want four seasons and there might be some of you guys out here who've never experienced four seasons. I can tell you right now that today is extremely beautiful. Um, it's a shame I wasn't out here maybe like an hour earlier, but the way that the sun's shining and the, the, like the color of the light amongst the fall colors, it just, I don't know. It's just beautiful today. Um, it's just one of those days guys. And it, you really appreciate the fall weather you know it's not cold right now it's like probably somewhere in like the high 60s i'm actually sweating a little bit wearing a too many layers um and there's a theory out there i guess some people have told me that when they lived in california where it was the same pretty much the same weather almost every day uh they didn't appreciate things as much and they didn't appreciate the nice days and they didn't they, they even told me that time goes by quicker when you live there because the seasons really mark and I think in a lot of people's minds uh, a change and you kind of go through this internal clock and you say all right well I don't know it kind of makes sense but it kind of doesn't but you kind of are aware of how much time has been going by, you know, it's like a, it's like a every three month reminder of, you know, times are changing or this is what my summer was like, or this is what I can look forward to and have all these different seasons. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think, you know, it's just beautiful out right now, and it's not really a time that I'll really be able to capture for much longer. You know, this this time of the year doesn't last very long, um, at least with the, the colors on the leaves. You know, it kind of goes into Halloween here, and then maybe by Thanksgiving everything's pretty much dormant, and all the leaves have finally fallen off their trees. And uh, then we're going into the winter time and it's a long winter here. You know, I think that's the one thing that I don't really appreciate is because it really, it really is around Thanksgiving that everything is just done here. Um, and it gives you the illusion that you're in a, a longer winter when you're not really, but it definitely seems like it. These are my, I think this actually is a nectarine. They're doing really well. These nectarines I put in the ground. Um, and there's a peach next to it. The both of them were semi-dwarf. And I decided to bury them. Actually, they may have been dwarf. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But I, I buried the, the trunks 
and I also scratched the bark so that they could turn into standards and grow up alongside these other peaches here which are indeed standards. And I've also come to realize that I don't need this many peach trees. <laughs> it's just too many. There's too many, uh, too many peaches, guys. Enough years goes by and you realize, well, I probably shouldn't have planted that many trees. And, um, you know, we get excited and all that, but it is what it is. I'm not going to complain, but I guess to kind of go back to what I was saying is that Yeah, we just live in a, a really um, weird winter where it's quite long. It's seemingly quite long. And then by the time spring finally comes in April, things then finally wake up. And it's a shame because we don't really get a long period of fall. Um, and I think it's a lot of people's favorite season up here. If I, if I probably lived maybe a little bit further south, I would probably get a longer fall um, and a shorter winter. And I think that'd probably be the best of all of the whole thing. It probably, I could probably do even better than where I live in Pennsylvania in the Philadelphia area. I think if you lived probably somewhere in Virginia, maybe even down towards Georgia or South Carolina, I think you probably would get the best bang for your buck in terms of the seasons. Um, and this is kind of what you guys would get for maybe, instead of you know uh, the last couple weeks, we've been sort of seeing this in various stages, probably sometime around mid-October you know, somewhere around there till Thanksgiving. So we get about a month, let's say a month and a half. We'll get, we'll be generous. I think we get about, I would imagine if you lived in Georgia, you lived in South Carolina, you might get maybe two or two and a half months of this. Um, maybe even three, I don't know. And I think that'd be probably the perfect scenario for a lot of people, but you know, it is what it is. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the fall weather? the fall changing, the colors, the time aspect of all this, you know, always thinking about, oh, the grass is always greener on the other side type thing. You know, what is everybody's perspective? I'm, I'm interested to read the comments. And, um, yeah. It's also a good time, guys, for reflection. I, just, I think that's something interesting that we should be doing. Like, look at this. This is a nice little tree wound here. This is a cut I made probably in the spring, and it's oozing a little bit of sap in there. But no, it's not diseased. This is normal. At least when it finally fully heals over, it should completely stop there, I hope. <laughs> But if it continuously bleeds like that, that's not good. You can see some on the other side as well. And they kind of get in these little crevices. Oddly enough, they get in these little crevices here. I don't know why. Anyway, hopefully you guys are thinking about planning, what you guys are gonna do next year, what your yard's gonna look like. I'll tell you right now, this little garden area here is gonna change up a bit. Um, we're gonna grow less vegetables actually, and we're gonna grow more fruit. Um, now that the fruit trees are finally getting into more of a mature stage, I have more fruit than I know what to do with. And um, I definitely prefer fruit over many of the vegetables and I'll still grow vegetables of course annuals, but uh, I'd rather focus more on perennial systems now. I'd rather put more of my time and effort into growing perennials and uh, sweeter, <laughs> sweeter things. Um, we're going to grow, I think, the tomatoes somewhere over here next year. Uh, we're going to raise up this bed in particular and, and make this into more of a raised bed. I think it's only, it's really only a four inch raised bed. See the wood? outlining it but it's even less than that um, so what I'll do is I'm gonna put 
this second mini four inch raised bed, I'm gonna put that right on top. And I may fill in a little bit more soil. I'm not sure just yet, but certainly in this area, I think I'm gonna grow things like peppers and eggplants and um, a little bit of oregano and, and uh, basil. We're gonna grow, I think, ginger and turmeric. I may just stick with turmeric, believe it or not. Um, I'm not sure, but because it's raised, because we have them kind of like, you can already see, it's gonna have access to more heat. Uh, these heat loving crops I just mentioned don't do well here. We just don't have enough heat in our season to get a, a pretty decent crop out of it. You know, it's kind of a waste of space in some situations. You gotta, you gotta do everything right. You gotta be on the ball. Uh, you'll get something, but it's not enough for me to be like, oh, I, I need to grow eggplants and peppers every year. You know, if I were to grow eggplants and peppers, let's say in a container, I'd have great success in this area. But uh, in the ground, you really gotta raise the soil up and that would kind of mimic a container. And um, that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna raise the soil up. We're gonna take out this back raised bed here because what I've been doing is actually blocking out a lot of the figs back here in that I have a, a new tree I planted right there. This is uh, Noir de Barbantane. We have an Italian 258, you can't even see it. And then we have in the corner our Salavatsky pomegranate, which could be doing a lot better, uh, but because we have it so shaded out by these tomatoes that are, you know, almost 10 feet tall, they're really messing with things. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take this whole thing out, move it over here. Less tomatoes this this upcoming year. I know what the varieties I want. I pick them out. Um, you know, based off of a lot of it's gonna be for sauce, the orange banana tomato. And then the rest of it's gonna be like one black cherry tomato and pink brandy wine. And that's it, I'm set, I'm set. I don't need to go crazy uh, with the tomatoes like I've done the figs anymore. I think I'm good to go. So we'll fill in this bed real nice and neat with various different things. I think I'm gonna have like peas and beans in here as well. I'm thinking about potatoes again. But then this bed is gonna be filled actually with figs. We're gonna plant more figs in here. And I'm gonna move the figs that are against the wall. I'm gonna move them into this raised bed. And then we're gonna put on the wall a trellis and I'm gonna grow melons up the trellis. And I figure this is just so much better in terms of space, uh, saving space and uh, it just makes a lot more sense with the angle of the sun because of just, this is south, you know? So if the sun's south, this is the sunniest pretty much place in my yard. And uh, if I'm not maximizing the amount of sun here, it just doesn't make sense um, at all. So we're gonna uh, move things around, like I said, and you know, it's gonna look nice, guys. I hope everybody's garden and every, everyone's fall is, uh, is shaping up nicely. We'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed this little talk and walk about. We'll catch you guys later. Take care.